Hey guys, Gretchen's Vegan Bakery here, and do I have a special video series for you. It is the 12 Days of Christmas Cookies. I decided to share with you my favorite Christmas cookie recipes. Some of them I've been making for over 20 years, and a couple of them are new ideas that I just added to the assortment. All veganized for everyone to enjoy, but not a single one lacking in amazing taste. The hardest part will be deciding which ones to make. From super simple to a bit more time consuming, these cookies will have your holidays sweeter than ever. So for the next 12 days, I will be adding another recipe to the list. So be sure to subscribe here to my channel and you won't miss a single one. Okay, number eight on the list are these cinnamon bun cookies. I can't wait any longer to share this amazingness. These little cookies are like bite-sized cinnamon rolls, only they're cookies, made just like real deal cinnamon buns, all rolled up with cinnamon and sugar and raisins and glazed with classic cinnamon bun icing too. Wait until you see just how easy these are to make. You are not going to make traditional cinnamon buns anymore when you see this. I am using the same dough that I used for my rugula cookies. So if you guys didn't see that, definitely you're gonna to wanna to check out that recipe. But this dough is just the best to use for a soft cookie like this one needs to be. And if you can stay with me, even after my 12 Days of Christmas Cookies recipe series, next week I have a bonus for you. These cookies sparked some creativity in me and I came up with this cinnamon roll cake. So be on the lookout for that coming soon. But for right now, we have to get to making these cookies. First to make the dough and you will need vegan butter, vegan cream cheese, and I am partial to the Tofuti brand for all my baking projects that use cream cheese, vanilla extract, sugar, flour, and I'm using vegan egg by Follow Your Heart as the egg replacer because the original recipe called for egg yolks. And I do love replacing egg yolks in a recipe with the vegan egg. I'm also using vegan lactic acid to enhance the cream cheese in the dough and some baking powder too. So first I'm combining the cold water with that vegan egg, then add the vanilla extract to that. I'm just smoothing out the vegan cream cheese with the butter on low speed. There's no need to whip this to light and fluffy here. You're just going to add the sugar and just mix it to combine. Add the egg replacer and then mix it well. And then last, add the sifted flour, baking powder, and salt. That's how easy it is to make this dough, but you do have to chill it before working with it, and I would recommend to divide it into two equal portions, or it's just really too much to work with all at once. So once the dough has chilled, you will work with just one piece at a time. It's just a little bit easier to handle that way. You're going to re-roll it with some flour to a pliable consistency, and then roll it out to a rectangle about 18 inches by six inches, and then uh, brush it with melted vegan butter, just like you would be making cinnamon buns, and then a hefty mixture of cinnamon and sugar. Now, I'm using raisins for mine, and I know people either like raisins or they absolutely despise them. Like, there is no in-between. It's just so funny to me. People who don't like raisins are very hostile about it, too. So leave them off or put them in there, whatever you want to do. Then just roll up the dough, and be sure to brush off that excess flour that's going to be caught up on the bottom as you roll. You don't want to get that flour caught up into the center because that's just going to bake up into some hollow spaces. Cut the log into 20 pieces and I actually think I got 22 here on the video but I realized that 20 would have been a little bit better. Now don't get all confused. These are not real deal cinnamon buns with yeast so we don't have to proof them. Straight into a preheated oven, they go for about 20 to 25 minutes and they will be nice and golden and believe me, you are going to want to dig right in hot out of the oven. Just let them cool slightly and then drizzle that icing sugar over top. These little buns of cinnamon cookies will have your holiday platters on a new level. I love changing up the usual same old, same old with something new once in a while. And not only will they be guaranteed to show up every Christmas going forward now, but I have a feeling you'll be making them year round. Now don't forget to catch me back here next week when I show you the cinnamon bun cake inspired by these cookies. So if you're not yet subscribed, you may wanna do that right now so you won't miss a thing. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another cookie in my 12 Days of Christmas Cookies series. Until then, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.